home states in decorative fashion with DIY state pride pillows, Georgia Bulldogs, Georgia Go Dogs, <laughs> is Orly. Hey, yes. Orly. Yay. That is me, and I'm here to do exactly that. <laughs> we also have Kristen Cavallari joining us. <laughs> from you two. Your buddies. We go way back. Way yeah. back. We actually hosted a show together. Yeah. The Fabulous. Oh, the Fabulous yeah. on E. It was one yeah. and done, but that's yeah. all right. <laughs> well, I got to say, I love this because I see these pillows everywhere, yeah. and they're like a gazillion dollars, yes. and I always want one, but I'm like, I'm not going to spend $200 on a pillow. Exactly. Right. This is great. And you know what? The reason for that is that patches are super expensive to buy, to, to uh, collect, I did not and know find, that. and you can't make those patches perfectly custom, which we can for this, and that's actually the best part of this whole thing. Nice. Right. Oh, let's, okay. let's actually start with a pillow I mean would we repurpose so you can pillow? you can if you want to repurpose a pillow there's two things that matter okay. there the first thing is going to be whether or not it has a zipper and it's a pillow yeah. case if it has a pillow case then you can sew these patches on if it doesn't like this one doesn't we're going to use fabric glue to adhere them on so your technique wow. is going to be different but okay. you can absolutely repurpose all right so we need yeah. a pillow or pillow case we need fabric glue yep. what else do we need you need fabric sheets you need the kind that can be sent through the printer, and it's actually fabric. Oh, right. So it okay. goes We've right through your before. printer. Yeah. Okay. So then, of course, you need a printer. And then you need a sewing machine because we're going to do the edging detail, which is what mm. actually wow. makes it look like a so patch. So that's real. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. see. Isn't that fun? Cool. Yeah. So that texture is what really wow. gives the look of a patch, a custom patch. That's neat. Yeah. And then we're going to use fabric glue. All right, so what do we do? How do we okay. get started? So the first thing I want to show you is I actually showed how you do the edging detail when I got in this morning. So let's take a look. Here is my sewing machine. First thing is your settings. Right now we're on a regular straight stitch. I need to get myself to a zigzag. So I click on to see, and everyone's sewing machine's a little different. The top is the width. I want mine set at a three, and that's how wide the stitch is gonna be. The length is how tight the zigzag is. Okay. And so I go almost all the way down to zero because I want that super, super tight zigzag edge. So here I was making one for you for Georgia, so I did some famous figures, some famous places, and I put it into my sewing machine, and I'm just gonna go all the way across the edge and go as straight as I possibly can. Now when it's you're moving on to the corner, you wanna turn the needle to the outside position because when you turn your paper and go back, it's gonna be perfectly in line. If you go on the inside, it'll look like it skips a step. Mm -hmm. You have to go back and fix it. So then again, I put it to the outside, I rotate, now I'm on the outside line and I go right back down where I'm supposed to go. So basically, I would recommend testing this so that you get the hand of the stitch, you kind of feel the way that it's supposed to, to work before you actually go onto your patches. So you can see I've got my little zigzag. You leave it, it's really important that when you're doing the patches, that you leave them all on one sheet when you sew. If you cut them out first and try to do it, the sewing machine's gonna suck the fabric. Oh, no. Because there's not enough of an okay. edge. So you okay. do that, and then it ends up like this where you go to cut them out. Now, I left this one here without cutting out because I wanted you to see, you can change the shape if you want, I wanted a rounded edge for this. Mm. Once so I cut, cut it out, you're not gonna notice that it was ever straight. Interesting. Yeah. So right. you can make any image a circle if you want. Okay. You can make it rounded, you can make it a triangle. Just as long as you do it with the stitch, then you cut around the edge. Don't cut in to the stitches or it'll unravel. Okay. But right up to the edge. And that's it. Now you can see all these little patches that and we have And then you go back <laughs> and you, you use fabric tack to put yes. the glue okay. on. So another thing, you can feel the film on the back of this. Yeah. Sure. Normally you would peel that off, but it's much easier to sew and it feels much more stiff if you don't peel it off. Okay. So now what we do is we lay out our patches. And this is the fun design part. You want to balance. So you want to say, okay, you know, I want my color, here's a white and here's a white. So I'm gonna separate them. Mm -hmm. Here's a circle, here's a circle, so I'll separate yeah, them. Good. And you just create a nice balance. Like you can see here for Kristen's, <laughs> which by the way, <laughs> I texted Kristen. Yeah, I texted yeah. Kristen and I was like, can I have like a couple of your favorite places? She sent me like 72 right. places. <laughs> sure. So it's, so it's a life size yeah. body pillow oh, is what we made. She <laughs> likes Nashville a lot. So I've yeah. got some of her places here. This is the Southern, a restaurant oh, that. Got you got Chris Stapleton on your pillow. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love him by the way. That's where he's from. Neighbor. Jay went to college, <gasps> The yeah. Rabbit, Bastion. These are some of her favorite places. Yeah. So I was able to build it. it out with not only regular landmarks that are well known for Nashville, but the ones that mean something to Kristen. So okay, cool. so I imagine yes. if you're gonna do it with a recyclable pillow mm -hmm. or like, you know, use an old pillow versus a pillowcase, it's gonna be a different technique. Yes, it absolutely is. And actually, I'm gonna come back over here to show you. So for Kristen's, I use the fabric glue because this did not have a zipper. So all of these are fabric glued on. You wanna make sure to get your edges really tight so it's flat. But if you can come in, I'll, let me see one where you can really tell. Can you see right there, if you come in as tight as you possibly can, there's a zigzag stitch, but a much wider zigzag stitch. Actually, you can see it right there. 
See that? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So what I did is I went back in, because this was a pillow case, I put it into my sewing machine and I wide zigzag stitched it into place. Great. So you could do it that way. Um, or you could even put the pictures on before you give it its edge and you could do it all at one point. But okay. you'd want to be really proficient with sewing. If you okay, so you have to be really good at Yeah. So I have a question. Tell me. So what about washing it? I feel like this one you yeah. can put in the washing machine, but the other one you can't. Kristen, do you want to become a DIYer? I would love to. Super smart. <laughs> She's do right. you make me want to be yeah. a DIY girl? Do I? Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Let's have DIY parties. Let's do it. Um, <laughs> yes, you can. That's actually really right. I would recommend spot treating okay. or hand yeah. washing this little guy, just okay. because even though Fabri-Tac is machine washable and it's meant to be able to be washed, when you're dealing with something delicate like this with edges, mm -hmm. you want to be careful. This isn't going anywhere because all of our edges on the sewn one have been sewn down into the pillow, yes. so there's nowhere for them to go. But okay. even so, this is we put this through a printer anyway, and these are pictures printed. Would they fade? No, you can still wash really? them. Yeah, that's wow. what this stuff is meant for. The f this is fabric. That's not that's gonna cool. fade. That's really no, cool. it's fabric. And I know, you don't have to wild? treat it or anything. Not nope. spray it with anything. Absolutely wow. not. This stuff is oh, meant for goodness. that, Ugh. which is really really cool. And once you put them down into place, I would just recommend after it's done, kind of lifting up and. Are you finding. like that one better? <laughs> yeah. Sorry about really that. Customizing your. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Well, this one's for my fault. I put the wrong one for home state. <laughs> so then you just kind of go in and you just want to make sure you add little edge details, but that's it. And you wouldn't come up with this stuff. Because she's brilliant. It's I mean, really. Truly. I told you, she's so good. It's so But fun. you wouldn't do like an iron on sort of thing. No, and actually, that's such a good question. So there are iron on transfers yes. where you do the same thing. Mm -hmm. You send it through the printer, you flip it upside yep. down, iron it, and peel the uh -huh. paper back. And the reason you don't want to do that is that what makes this feel like patches is that it's got that 3D texture. It sits up from the pillow. Yeah, right. right. Although this that would just look like a printed pillow, and you want right. you want that texture. That's what makes it look really like handmade and one of a kind. It's so cute. So Thank cool. you, Orly. And by the way, I just want the two of you know. In case you weren't aware, we didn't make these pillows for ourselves. Kristen, <laughs> you get the one for Tennessee, and you get the one for Jordan. You actually yes. made yours. I love this. <laughs> yeah, and we're she has a pair. Thank you, Orly. The one over there and that one. Uh, you get to go home with two. I love this. I told you you get a lot of presents. Why don't you, you, you take that? Very you want me to so. take you want, you oh, is that California? It's California. You take it. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Pillow fight.